Hi guys, welcome to Shop RJ Piscini for great deals on eBay. My name is Rich Piscini, and for those who are new to my YouTube channel, I do sneak peek videos, demo videos, and intro videos. I also do the reseller news um, on occasion. I should be doing a lot more, and I do have a lot of reseller news stuff to talk about. But this video here is basically for sneak peek, and it's to talk to, um, or I should say, introduce to um, the new potential eBay buyers of new items that will be listed on eBay. And I'd like to, you know, share this information with you guys. And it's basically for a first come, first serve basis. So you guys who stumble on this channel, or you follow me on um, the uh, eBay listings like that, you'll have first dibs on the items I put up. So without further ado, I'm gonna bump out of here, and I'm um, just gonna go show it, show you what I have. All right, we'll take it from here. Hold on, guys, I'll be right with you. Okay. Well, let's get started. First off, I have. I picked up some t-shirts and I'm going to show you one at a time of course. I have over here the Walt Disney World t-shirt. Uh, this is a, I believe it's a, um, it's a medium and it's got the Disney logo in there in case you want to see that there right up close. All right, Nice shirt, pretty clean condition you know from what I can see here. All right. Um, it's, it's got nice, and the prints are very nice on the front, too. I, I have it, and you know the funny thing is, folks, I got all this stuff already listed on eBay, so once you see this channel, you know, once you uh, view the sneak peek video, you could go out there, I'll put the link there. These are already up. I did things a little different this time. Um, after I came home from the thrift store, I cataloged my items that had to be listed, you know, with the pricing in there and all that other stuff. I did my photos, I did my listings, and now I have the stuff already listed on there. Instead of a day before like if I usually um, I usually do is do the sneak peek videos and then the next day I put up but this way here I kind of like did it reverse so uh, once you get up once you see this channel you know once you see what's on here uh, go to the listings if you're interested in these things and you can pick them up so they are everything I'm showing you is up on eBay as we speak <laughs> anyway so this is what we got going on over here with this shirt as you can see it's pretty nice it's like a light olive green shirt okay and it's got some nice pictures on there the only thing is, folks, on this shirt here, um, and I always like to point it out, it does have two little marks right over here. Um, I tried to use fabric clean to get them out. I can't get them out. I'm not going to put any, I don't want to use any harsh chemicals on it because uh, I don't want to, you know, bleach the shirt anyway. Um, I did try to clean it out, but that's the only thing that's going on. But otherwise, as you can see, the shirt is clean. Okay, so that's one shirt there. And we're going to put this over here for time being. Another one I got here for the Nintendo game people. This is a large shirt, and it's the, uh, the Nintendo Game Control shirt. Um, it's like a charcoal gray, a charcoal gray or a light black, whatever the color. You can see it's pretty nice condition. Um, it's got light wear on it. It does have the uh, little Nintendo thing and the information on it, as you can see. Okay. Uh, again, you know, it's got light wear on it. Pretty nice condition, as you can see there. Okay. So we got that going on. That's shirt number two. And this is the last one, last but not least. This one here is an extra large. Uh, it's a Dr. Pepper shirt. It's vintage, for understand. The label is cut out, unfortunately. You can see up here, the label was cut. Uh, I, I think people do that, there, I'll be honest with you. Uh, in the shirts I have, I used to have, I don't wear too much t-shirts, but I, when I did wear them, uh, those labels used to be annoying, you know, like especially in the summertime when it's hot and sweat, you're hot and sweaty back there and that thing's constantly picking at your neck. Um, I did the same thing, but this is not my shirt. Any of the shirts I'm showing, anything I'm showing you here is pre-owned, and some of the items are new, you know, but uh, the shirts I'm showing you right now are pre-owned, and they're not mine. <laughs> uh, I'm, not, I'm not a fan of Dr. Pepper, but uh, that's what we got going on here, and this is a vintage shirt. It, it is an extra large, and again, it is uh, on eBay, so if you are interested in it, it's got, the, the logo's pretty decent on there, the, the name on it, it's kind of like a little fade, I guess that's the way it's supposed to be. I don't know when this shirt was made, but other people had them up as listed as vintage. So we got that going on. Okay, uh, it's not gonna take too long, folks. Um, I don't have that much stuff to put, you know, to show you guys, but I just wanna share what I did add to uh, my collection here. Here we have a Macy's uh, 2010 Macy's Holiday Smurf, Blue Smurf. He's pretty clean, you know, considering. Um, you know, I use light, light fiber, you know, a light fabric cleaner on to uh, get like any, any little dusty things off it, but he is pretty clean. Uh, that's what it is over there. You can see there on the uh, thing. It's a Macy's Holiday 2010. I sold quite a few uh, stuffed dolls with Christmas-related dolls and stuff like that. Um, 
You know, he's pretty nice though, as you can see. He's pretty clean all the way around, you know, if you're interested in him. He's roughly, I could be wrong, folks. You know, when, when you measure these things up, I could be wrong. I don't know. Let me just make the screen a little bigger. Um, I don't know. I usually measure from the foot, right, from the foot here. I don't always go from the top. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. But anyway, with this, with this uh, tape measure here, um, I measured 18 inches. That's what I have listed here. Okay, I'm going by the top of the city. You can see it's like 18 inches pretty much. That's what I have. If I'm doing it wrong, let me know. I don't know. I don't think you're supposed to go from the head to top, you know, head to toe. But if you want to be that way about it, if you, know, if you want to go that route, then it's roughly about 20, 23 inches from what I can see here. If you're going from the head to toe, well, from head to the top, see, you can see it right there from the foot down there. It's about, 20, it's about 23 inches to the very top here. And that's what it is going down below, and okay, the bottom of his foot. All right. If I'm doing it wrong, I'm sorry. But he's pretty clean. Like I said, he's pretty clean all the way around. And you know, any of the items I'm putting up now, I mean, putting on my listings, um, buying it now for the Christmas holiday. So as soon as you guys make your, you know, place your orders, um, I'll get these things out to you as soon as possible. Uh, you know, that's all I can tell you. But you know, don't wait too too long. I mean, if you are going to buy them for gifts or just to have them as decoration maybe you might want to put them around the house or whatever i don't know you know whatever but if you want the stuff for christmas you know place your orders you know do it quick if you could here i have over here a marvel uh super superhero squad this is the wolverine with the um oh what is it here weapon weapon x cycle brand new it's in a box okay the figurines about maybe i don't know maybe two inches i i think about two inches okay the figurine standing high and this thing here, of course, the, the motorcycle on those, what, three and a half inches, four inches, whatever. But you can see it's brand new. It's in its packaging. Okay. Again, if you're going to buy any these things for gifts, and I did put best offers on all my listings. Again, um, I, 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 th I think I kept them at a fair price. So if you guys see anything that you like, make a best offer, as I always tell you. Um, I've been accepting a lot of offers, folks. Really. I mean, I'm not, I'm not just saying this. I'm throwing it out there. I have been making you know accepting a lot of best offers so if you see something you like please don't hesitate don't feel funny you know making the best offer just keep it fair that's all i ask and anything I, any of the offers anytime i make best offers or i put it out there just be fair that's all i ask no nothing more nothing less okay here we have a little uh mickey good friend mickey clock it's still in its original packaging it requires two double a batteries and um i didn't take it out uh, if, however, if you do get it and there is any little flaws on it, it's not by my, 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 my choice. Um, I don't like to open packages up. This is what's the back, you know, this is what the back of it is here. And it even tells you here, batteries not included. And uh, unfortunately, I don't include the batteries either, folks. Um, for those who do follow me, I can't uh, afford to get the batteries out and everything I sell that requires batteries. Or else I'll be running out of batteries. And I use all that stuff. I use the batteries basically to test out the items I bought when I do buy electronic items. I like to have an assortment of batteries, so if I start giving them out to, you know, every time I make a sale, and then I have to replenish my own, and then, you know, that's not going to help me out any, but this is a nice little clock, it's a quartz, as you can see it's a quartz uh, clock, okay, nothing fancy, um, I took the ruler out here, well, actually I actually use a tape measure, but I got the ruler, in case you're wondering the dimension of this thing, the size of it, um, I, I, it's about, I would say about seven and a half inches, if you look at it that way, in case you're wondering, because some people like to know dimensions sometimes. I think, I don't know if I put that in. I might have put it in the air. If I didn't, I forgot. I might have forgotten. And uh, it's roughly about, well, I'm saying roughly about five, five and a half inches, whatever. Okay. Sorry about the ruler, guys. My kids, when they were little, they used to color on the ruler. But anyway, that's what we got going like that. And again, this is a brand new item. A little uh, Mickey Mouse clock here. The other thing I picked up, was a Florida tin plate here for Walt Disney World. Uh, if you are a collector of these tin plates, whatever the uh, tin, yeah, tin plate serving trays, whatever, uh, this is pretty clean, not bad condition. It's pretty good. So the condition is good. It's uh, not many. It's not bad. The only thing is in the back here. What happened, folks? I'll just give you a little insight with this. Is somebody had black electrical tape here. What they did was they put uh, a little thing here to hang it up. I guess they wanted to hang it on their wall. So that's why you see the marks over here. I didn't want to keep rubbing because then I'll rub the paint off. I'm afraid I'm going to scratch it. Um, so yeah, they put it on and it had tape on the side over here too. I don't know what they had there exactly, but uh, right over here, 
was where they taped up, they made a makeshift uh, hanger. So they want them hanging on the wall. I guess they didn't want to leave it flat, you know. Uh, it still has the Disney sticker thing on the back there, as you can see. I don't know if you can see it there. Whoops, let me go here. There you go. So, still has it there. It's pretty clean, as you can see, too. If you're a collector of these things, or if you haven't gotten a chance to go to Florida and you wanted to pick one up or you you didn't, you didn't forgot, or maybe, uh, I don't know, you just wasn't thinking about it, now you can have it, right? So we got that going on here. Right, we're coming down to a closing. I only got a couple more items, maybe two more things to go. I picked up these mag uh, magazines, these comic books. Um, here's uh, Spider-Man, Deadpool, and I'm selling them as a set. These are 2016 books. Uh, I'll be honest with you. I'm going to share this with you. I picked it up because I thought it was going to be an M&M's catalog <laughs> a comic book. And I guess I don't know what I was thinking, but I thought so. This is not an M&M's catalog book. <laughs> That's the back page of it. Just to let you know, I'll show you. It's the back page. Um, it's a Spider-Man book. I thought the same thing. When I seen it hanging up, I said, oh, man, because I do m and theories, I, you know, the uh, series there, whatever, themes. And I also do the uh, Hershey and, um, and Disney, as you can see. But, no, it's um, it's the back page of this here. And this one here is the Spider-Woman. So I'm, I'm pairing them up together. Okay, they're going to be sold as a, as a set. Okay. And, again, the back of here, this is not the comic that's back there, the Civil War II. It's uh, the back cover. So it is, these are both Spider-Woman and uh spider-man and they're going to be paired together they're very nice condition pretty clean as you can see there's no like rips on the pages any scratch you know like tears or anything um i, I got these here for pretty decent condition i like to keep them that way uh however when i do ship these out they will be shipped out with cardboard wrapped around you know not wrapped around them, but you know inserted there so they don't you know uh get bent or folded up uh, i put them in the bag here just to keep them clean in the meantime but I will have to uh, get the cardboard. I have plenty of cardboard for that there, and I will, uh, you know, take care of that part there. So when you get them, uh, they shouldn't be bent or just or crushed or whatever. I got two uh, eyeglass cases. I know I said I wasn't going to deal with these things here, but you know what? I picked them up. I thought maybe there'd be uh, something might something you know, somebody might be interested in. This is the uh, Power Rangers. It's plastic hard shell uh, sunglass, well eyeglass case, whatever. As you can see there, it's pretty clean. It's got a little flaws on the plastic, you know, a little scuff marks here, light, light scuff marks, you know, the back of it, uh, pretty nice. Uh, it's got that type of opening thing where you push in to open it up. And when you open it up, it's got this nice velour clean. It's pretty clean in there, guys. If, uh, if you're looking for uh, a case like this here, it's pretty nice, right? That's the power ranges. So that's what we got going on, pretty clean condition. And last but not least on the list here is the, I picked up a Chesterfield uh, sunglass or eyeglass case. As you can see there, that's what it, they make of it is. It's a Chesterfield, okay. Uh, same thing with this. It's like a dove gray or slate gray. Um, it's pretty clean inside here. That there. You can see, it's like a dove gray. All right, and that's what we got going on. And uh, that's the shape of it there. It's got like a little... Um, like a little slide there, you see it, that little shape there. Okay, that's what it looks like. Okay, so basically, guys, that's all I have right now to uh, share with you. Um, again, if you see anything on there, like I said, I set them accepting a lot of best offers, uh, and I've, I've been marking the prices down. So there's, I got a lot of watches out there. Some people are buying. Some people are just, I guess, still watching. Uh, so I really would encourage you guys if you want to get any of this stuff before Christmas um, Please, you know place your orders right away uh, The sooner I get because I don't know I mean, I'll be honest with you I had a couple packages that had to go out and I usually let my uh, the mailman that comes by our house <laughs> um, I asked him if he had room in his packaging, you know, I kind of like yelled across the street to us he parked opposite inside the street and I uh, I wasn't thinking at the time, you know, I, I, when he opened the back of the truck up, his little, because they got those little things, not a big truck, but they got the little mail trucks. Uh, and I did see it was kind of like crowded in there, but I thought he had room. And the package is only yay big, you know, like this big and that would like that size. And I said to him, you know, the guy's name is uh, Eric. I said, hey, Eric, I go, well, you got any room for a package? He goes, look. And like, he, he wasn't mad, but... <laughs> I, I, I guess I wasn't thinking at the time. This, folks, I just want to say one thing. This is kind of like a bad time of the year to give your personal, you know, the letter carrier that comes around your neighborhood packages. Um, this wasn't a big package, but 
looking at the back of his truck and he comes in the morning so by the afternoon if i was like the last look we were like the last uh people on the block there so to speak on his route i'm sure the truck would be emptied out i'm sure he'd be more than happy to take it but it was the morning he, he gets the we, well, he told me we got our mail in the morning here and uh i wasn't thinking at the time i because he's been doing it right along you know but i guess this time of the year they get glutted with packages people are sending stuff out ahead of time they're probably buying stuff from other places like Amazon, whatever, the package of stuff up, you know, they're probably, they're probably what it is, they're probably people buying off of Amazon and eBay, you know, getting there, doing their Christmas shopping, and that's why they're always, you know, the trucks are always loaded up, no doubt, and people might say, duh, you know, didn't you think about that? I mean, who knows? Some, cause he threw me off, I mean, he's been taking them right, right up to this time, right up to this day, he was taking them, you know, not this day, but yesterday he took some packages too. So I thought maybe, yeah, maybe you could squeeze a little one in, but it's okay, no big deal. But anyway, uh, if you do have uh, packages going out, you, you know, you might think twice if you're a heavy volume seller. Uh, you might want to either call up for a special, I think they, the post office has it where you can call and um, schedule a pickup. I don't know if, you, I don't know if that's a, a certain package requirement, I don't know if you have to have to, for them to come by the house. I mean, if you got one package, I think that's kind of silly, you know? I mean, if you have like bulk shipping, like you know, more, maybe five or 10 items, you know, you might maybe you might want to call. They're big things too. Uh, sometimes uh, I, I shipped out a big printer the other day. The thing was 25 pounds, no, 24 pounds by 25 by 25 length and 24. Well, it was a big box, and uh, I was not about to give that to him because I can just imagine what he'd be saying. It's like, what are you kidding? You know, yeah, I, I wouldn't even offer. So I ended up, you know, schlepping it to the post office myself. Um, yeah, people, a lot of people might say, why don't you just go to the post office? What are you lazy? Not lazy. Um, I feel if he's in the area, he's got it. You know, he's got if he's got the room on his truck, he could save me the trip. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's from burning gas and stuff like that. And uh, they scan it right there and then. That's what the letter carriers do. Uh, if you get a if you get a letter carrier that, you know, when you give a person him or her the packages and they don't scan it, uh, you might want to think twice about dealing with them. You know, I wouldn't. I'm not a person to sit up. At, you know, when you call up the office and complain, and say, oh, your letter carrier in my neighborhood. Uh, it doesn't scan a pack. I wouldn't do that. I'm not a complainer. What I would do is just, you know, take it myself. If that's the case, then I'd rather just take it to the post office myself. But, you know, he does send me a trip, and uh, he scans it right in there. So as soon as I hand him the packages, he scans them. I can hear the thing beeping off. So, you know, he's uh, taking care of business. But uh, for the most part, you know, if you're gonna have, if you if you have a situation like that, uh, I wouldn't complain because these guys, let's face it, you know, they're out in all weather, winter sleet rain and snow they, they're trucking these things through it and stuff so I mean if you could help them out by taking your own packages to the post office you're better off you know um, I, I give him packages but like I said they're not big things it's usually small ones but apparently the small ones add up to a lot uh, a couple of days ago I gave him two bags full of stuff but it was small but there were enough there must have been like maybe 10 pieces in each you know 10 pieces total but uh, you know you try to give him a little break here and there Anyway, guys, if this is the first time comes to my channel, my YouTube channel, uh, please subscribe. Let's have you as a subscriber. Um, if you like what I do with these videos, please give me a thumbs up. And if you don't want to give me a thumbs up, that's fine. I appreciate you being here, just checking out my video. Uh, for those who don't know me, my name is Rich Bassini. I go under eBay. Uh, user ID is shop RJ Bassini for great deals. And uh, I will drop a link below along with the other things. I have also the Facebook uh, top rated eBay top rated sellers group if you want to join it. I'd love to have you as a member. Our, me our membership is growing in there. I think we're up to 342 or 348, something like that. Um, it's not growing in thousands, but it's getting there little by little. Um, I I'll be honest with you, I on my Facebook group, you know, uh, not so much the Twitter, but the Facebook group, I've been getting, I think I did a video on this once before, I do get every now and then. Uh, <laughs> women coming on there thinking it's a dating site and uh, I just decline them <laughs> and, and the reason how I go about doing it is when they you know say they want to request to join a group I look at the about me and if I see on the about me or the, you know what they're all about do they do, are they in the business or stuff like that I just decline them I don't approve I just just get, I just decline them. Uh, it's not a dating site <laughs> I've had that happen a couple of times and the <laughs> You get these girls that come on there on these sites and they're, they're dressed and they, you know, they're, the way they're dressed, you would think they're going out to a nightclub. Uh, it's not a dating site. It's, 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 a, it's a site. The eBay Top Rated Sellers Group is a site for people to share 
there are you know experiences on selling on eBay if you want to talk about Amazon that's fine even though it's just eBay top rated sellers group I do have some Amazon people that come on there I don't care I mean we're all one big family I, I don't I'm not like one of these people like you know if you to say the a word oh Amazon you know I'm gonna you know bounce you off the group that's that's crazy um, but they, we do have other topics that come up uh, I don't really like you know there, there's been situations on a, on a Facebook group where uh, prof profanities on there uh, sometimes you get you might get a, a group member that may have had a bad experience and they you know, start dropping the f-bomb uh, I don't like that uh, I want to keep it try to keep it as clean and you know as professional as possible so um, if I do come across that and I see a lot of uh, you know cursing you know profanity or you know stupid things that don't belong in there uh, I will hide the comment and I won't necessarily bounce the person off the group decline them or just just bother them from the group but uh, if it's an ongoing thing I will uh, I don't I don't really want people coming on to the group you know cursing and talking profanity uh, it's it's not I mean I know sometimes you're gonna you, if you go on the group you're gonna say well hey rich I see people posting other things in there there is yes there is politics on there sometimes people talk about politics they want to vent uh, they talk about religion I myself uh, do have religious things uh, put on my site. I also have a personal Facebook where I have a lot of religious uh, you know, things I deal with, um, but that's just my personal preference. Um, nobody has to you know, watch it or you know, you know, listen to it, or whatever it may be. You know, that's totally up to you. But uh, I do have that on there. But I don't normally like to have topics like that on the group. It's not, it's not a group for discussing politics and religion. I mean, I know I have it on there, but I'm not going to, you know, like I said, I'm not going to, you know, reprimand group members because we're all, you know, talking about different topics. I don't like, you know, crazy talking there. But you're welcome to join the Facebook group. Um, yeah, I also have a Twitter, a Twitter thing. If you want to follow me on Twitter is good, you know. I have a website. I'm still working. I keep saying it in a lot of my videos. Um, it's, I have to update it. it it's... You know, I used a, a program called Web Plus uh, to create the website, and uh, I'm learning as I go along. I'm not a professional at it. I'm, you know, I'm learning as I go along. So uh, it does take time to actually, you know, get the feel of it. Uh, but I do like, I do like the program I use. It's called Web Plus X6 or X8, whatever I believe, and uh, it's not bad. It's good software. I think I did a video once before talking about the software I use and my hosting company I use uh, is TreeIX, which is very reasonable. Uh, just to just to throw a quick shout out there, uh, if you ever want to check into their website, it's 3ix.com. Uh, I got the uh, Excite plan. It gives you like 40 something gigabytes of space. Uh, it's a dollar a month for hosting uh, to do the um, to register your domain name. I think it's like 15 bucks. But anyway, for the whole total cost of it, I'm lucky. I think it cost me maybe I don't know, 30 some odd dollars for the year or something like that. And it's not bad. It's a dollar a month to host and. Uh, they bill you at the end of the year, which is nice. It's a good, so it's a good, I, I like it. I have no problem with them. You know, I've been with them now for quite a few years and uh, I have no, I have no really issues with them. But anyway, guys, uh, that's basically, I want to wrap this video up because I can keep talking and talking. I like to maybe do the reseller news if possible today. I don't know. I'm going to try to, um, maybe I will try it at this one here. I just got to see what alerts came in and I'll share that with that, that, that news with you guys. Thanks again for stopping by. This is a sneak peek video for November 29th, 2017, and I hope you guys like what I have to offer. And remember, folks, uh, just to sum it up in a nutshell, please, you know, it's, check out the best offers. I've been listing, I've been, you know, dropping prices on a lot of the items, basically on all the items. Uh, so don't hesitate to, you know, make the best offer, you know. And the sooner you order this stuff, the sooner I can try to get it out for you. If it's after 5 o'clock, it'll go out the next day, folks. That's what I can tell you. Thanks again. Have a great day. Talk to you next video. Bye.